All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So it looks like the five year anniversary is starting a little bit earlier on global than we might have thought, at least the countdown part of it. And if you're super confused right now, I don't blame you. Let me try to explain, all right? So basically, we've got this little fifth anniversary ultimate countdown missions thing going on. And essentially, it allows us to obtain the 5th anniversary tickets that we can use during the anniversary, like a month before the actual anniversary begins in the first week of July. And I'm not really sure what the reasoning was behind this, why they're doing this, because I'm 99% sure. Actually, no, I'm 100% sure that JP didn't have this before their anniversary, right? So this is... I guess a global first thing and uh, let me just read this real quick so it says fifth anniversary ultimate countdown missions are here there are two types of countdown missions basic missions and advanced missions the advanced missions are available throughout the event period while the basic missions will be updated every week complete various missions to get up to 55 55 celebration summon tickets and count down to the fifth anniversary and it also says the celebration summon tickets obtained by completing the missions can be used to perform summons in the upcoming fifth anniversary ticket summon so there you go we can get up to 55 tickets in total for completing all the missions and uh, it's going to be going throughout the entire month of june so i guess we basically have like a month plus of countdown to the fifth anniversary i mean the only reason I can think of that they're doing this is to further hype up the anniversary. I mean, anniversaries in general are already hype and people already know that Blue Vegito and Blue Gogeta are coming. So there's already enough hype and they didn't do this last year. So I don't know. I guess they're trying different things. I'm cool with it. It's just a little bit weird in my opinion. And uh, the missions here are as follows so for the basic missions you have to use five support items for one ticket uh 10 support items for two tickets and 15 support items for two more tickets for a total of five tickets and it says daily missions but we can't do these like repeatedly every day basically you clear them once and then you have to wait for the next week for uh the basic two missions to come out and then the basic three missions the week after and the basic four missions after that so as you can see, here's the breakdown, the schedule here. So we're getting the basic one missions right now. And then the advanced missions, as it says, they're available throughout the entire month. And uh, once you clear all these, you get a total of 35 tickets. So basically, when you add everything up, 55 tickets right there. So uh, let me see what the missions actually are. So the first one here is undergo training 55 times. The second one is clear a stage using only super attacks 55 times. Uh, the third one is activate 255 nodes and hit a potential. The fourth one is consume at least 1,555 stamina. And the last one is log in for 25 days in total. Oh, I get it. Okay, so they want to make sure that people don't leave, right? They want to remind you, yo, the anniversary is coming, so don't go anywhere. Um, don't like stop playing the game. So... This is their way of ensuring that happens. So uh, there you go, guys. Do all the missions. Make sure you complete these weekly. And then make sure you complete these ones, the time-limited missions, uh, before the end of June. So you can get every single ticket for a total of 55. And just to be clear, I think there's going to be some confusion here. Um, these tickets are not for the Dual Dokkan Fest. All right, It's not for the Vegito Blue and Blue Gogeta banners because those are separate uh, Dokkan Fest A and Dokkan Fest B tickets. These ones are for the general anniversary banner that we get every single year. And it's gonna be basically some random like featured, you know, non Dokkan Fest L uh, SSRs like maybe the Fizz Gohan, maybe Bula, so on and so forth. So nothing too exciting there. But the more interesting part of these banners is the fact that most likely every single non Dokkan Fest LR, like LR Goku and Frieza, Kaelin Khalifla, LR Androids, uh, so on and so forth, should be in the unfeatured pool of this banner. Also, most likely including the LR Ultra Instinct Goku. That's a question mark, but last year, we did get the part two, like Goku Day LR on uh, the anniversary banner, and that was the Tech Broly, right? So there's a good chance that LR Ultra Instinct Goku will also be available 
on this anniversary banner that we have to use these tickets for. So, um, you know, there's always a chance that you can pull one or two or even more LRs. Like it always happens. I always see people pulling like two or three LRs. Obviously, it doesn't really happen to me, but I've seen it. So there's always a chance. That's kind of the exciting part. And the fact that they're giving us 55 tickets before the anniversary even begins is uh, pretty nice. So, you know, I think that's a nice thing they're doing for us. Um, I don't mind it. I just was a little bit confused when I first saw it, but uh, that's pretty much the video, guys. I just wanted to make sure everybody knew what was going on, everybody understood what these tickets are for, and uh, remind everybody to make sure you get them done, all right? Like I said, or once again, these ones reset every single week, so you get a week to finish uh, finish them each time they reset, and then these ones are for the entire month, so just, just make sure you get them done before the end of June and you should be good to go. All right, so that is the video, guys. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.